we have been getting inundated in, in a good way with questions and comments and thoughts about eSIMs. I, like we've gotten piles of email into Mac Geek Up about it. Many of you have been texting me or emailing me personally about it. It's fine. You know, it's like, it's great. You all know that I will take the texts that you send me and and work them into the show if, if, if it works that way. In fact, those of you that have been doing that already know that that's the answer. Uh, but it is better when they come into feedback at MacEcab.com because that way everybody gets to see it and uh, we get to, you know, kind of work on it together. Lots about eSIM. Robert asks a question. He says, I know you've talked about your own experiences and mentioned using the iPhone outside the U.S. a few times, but could you do a deeper dive or maybe answer the questions I have? Let's do the latter. Uh, if I'm only going to one or two countries, uh, should I buy a local country specific eSIM or just buy a global one anyway. And uh, I'm going to, I'm going to sort of, I'll let him ask it. I'll, I'll read his questions and then we'll, we'll go through it. He says, do I have to sign up and load the eSIM company's app like true phone or whatever, just to see the actual prices? It seems like not consumer friendly or maybe even bait and switch. And most important, since these eSIMs are data only, what do you recommend for VoIP app service to make telephone calls? Many of us don't have the luxury of only using our email contact for iMessage or text messages. So how do you handle the reality of people not being able to reach us by the phone number they always use? Does this mean incoming telephone calls are not feasible unless some kind of hack workaround with call forwarding or third-party service is put into place? Okay, so to answer the first two questions, which is which SIM should I buy and what is the price – I know I've said it a million times, and that might not even be an exaggeration, uh, but eSIMDB.com is a, an amazing resource. You, If I'm only visiting one or two countries, let, let's take a specific example. When we went to Greece earlier this year, I knew that we were flying into Athens. Uh, we were going to spend some time in Athens. And then take a cruise, which wound up in Venice, Italy. Well, really, it wound up in Ravenna because Venice, since COVID, uh, has decided they don't want big cruise ships coming into their town anymore, their city anymore. But anyway, I needed Italy. I needed Greece. Turned out I also needed a few other countries because the, the cruise was stopping at ports that weren't just Greek islands. So, OK, great. I knew we were going to Croatia and a few other places. Fine. I knew I had my list. I went to eSIMDB. I knew how much data I wanted to buy. And we all will overestimate how much data we think we use. Right. So, and, and you know, within reason, the prices aren't going to be terrible. So I, I think I bought three gigs per person uh, on our eSIMs, which was more than enough for us because we were mostly on Wi-Fi in different places, but you know, just having some, some data. And I don't think any of us even got close to using our three gigs, but, uh, and then I looked at, I knew how long I needed it to last for, which is another parameter you can set with eSIMDB. And finally, I knew what countries I needed it to be in. And so I narrowed it down by countries and was able to select uh, a family of eSIMs that all uh, would have fit my needs. And then I just chose them based on price or speed or whatever. I mean, it just gives you all this data. And then, yes, uh, once I selected one, eSIMDB doesn't sell SIMs. My guess, my hope is that they get an affiliate kickback from the places that I do choose to use because I want eSIMDB to make money. Maybe I should just send them some money. In fact, I think I might do that. Uh, but, uh, you know, then they they say, okay, you're going to go with Red Phone for this one. I'm like, okay, I've never heard of Red Phone before. And it's like, yep, sure enough, I download the Red Phone app. In there is the eSIM for exactly the price that eSIMDB told me it would be. Sometimes there's even a coupon code on eSIMDB to get the price down to, to something and probably give them their their kickback, which is great. You know, I love it. And uh, and then I just and then using the app is sort of the magic that installs the eSIM on your phone. And, and then while you're using it, you can use the app to see your progress and all of that stuff. So. Yes, eSIMDB will answer all of those questions. And I got to say, of the emails and texts and all of that stuff that I got this week, I, I think like 75% of them were answered by saying, visit eSIMDB.com. You, you might just see all of your answers on the screen in front of you. So I will continue saying that, but proactively, visit eSIMDB.com, folks. 